Well, he's not saying who has the edge. But I'll tell you this, fans watched the spring game and saw freshman Shane Bouchelle light it up. And that gave them hope because Texas has been in a quarterback desert for a long time. Now, when I was in Austin, it was 7 o'clock at night. I was up in the players' lounge talking with sports information director John Bianco. And who walks in the door but Charlie Strong, the head coach. So I pulled out my little camcorder, and we talked a little bit about what he thinks is happening from how the quarterback competition is shaping up. The competition is going to be fierce. You know, we're going to walk into preseason camp, fall camp, and we'll be able to make a decision early because we, you want to make it early so that you can get your offense going and then guys will know. But still, at the end of the day, whomever the starter is going to be, there's going to be another guy that comes in and play. So if it ends up being Swoop, Bush, you're going to see Bouchelle. If it ends up being Bouchelle, you're going to see Swoops. You look at last year, what we did, we had the 18-wheeler package. So, you know, that package, we can dust that package off and we can still use it. But you, you just like what we have right now. You like the, just the level of competition. And the team around, whoever wins the starting job, will be better. Texas hasn't had an offensive lineman drafted since 2007. But last year, there were two freshman offensive linemen starting. They both made freshman All-American. Whoever wins this job at quarterback will have a better, a better support staff.